Welcome back to Dega Robber V3, killing our video. Let's carry on. We left off. It's the final investigation, and shit is going down. Kibo has been fighting with the Exosouls, trying to buy us some time before dawn, so we need to figure out the truth of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles by then. No time to lose. Let's go. Are you alright? How's your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game your way? Uh, I hope so. Kokichi's left us a message. He's still speaking to us and helping us from beyond the grave, uh, which is so uh, exciting. Uh, it's going fine. I really just started. There are a lot of areas in this academy that we haven't investigated. Hmm. Areas that you can investigate. Hmm. Rontaro's lab is also inaccessible, thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. Okay. That's right. I'm concerned about that too. If only there was some way to get in. Um. I will help you. Thank you. Just blast the door open, please. Huh? Help me. I wonder if we're gonna find Rontaro's video as well, the full version this time. Logical. By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, that's... If you could, that would really help. Please. Then please head to the Sis lab and I'll meet you there. I'm worried. But be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. Really? We're free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at our own discretion, right? It's in the rules. The Exosols may not kill you outright, but they will definitely try to stop you. Uh, okay. Right, so I might need to sneak around them. Listen closely. If things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Exosols. Huh? You're going to... to help me, Kibo? Yeah. I am not your enemy. That is why I'm helping you with your investigation. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. I mean, really? Why did you have to give us a time limit for? Jeez, Kibo. Oh, nice. Damn! All of a sudden, he's just such a badass. Only until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hell-bent on destroying this academy. Hmm. Still, you've changed, Kibo. Is it because of the situation? Or because he can't hear his inner voice? Right now, I should focus on Rantaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent. But he seemed to know more than we did. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? I know, right? Before we even remembered that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. Why? There might be a clue somewhere that will lead us to the mastermind. Alright! I'm going to do everything I can. No giving up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. And to do that, I need to get inside Rantaro's lab. Congratulations, you've unlocked the Kibo gun! Hold left click near an Ixasol to fill up energy. When the energy is filled to the max, Kibo will come to save you. Wow. Use it as you need it. Alrighty, will do. Jeez. Okay, uh, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna try not to stumble over my words like I have been. It's just, I'm so excited and I just want to read things and just get going, you know? Okay. I need to get back. There's that Exosol that was guarding the way. I think it was Monokid. I can't remember. It was a blue one. I'm pretty sure. It was too dark, though. I think Monotaro's outside. Yeah, that's him there. Fighting with Kibo. Let's get moving. Alright. I'm wondering about Monokuma's motives here. You know, he says he doesn't want us to investigate, but then again, why leave a gun for Kibo to upgrade himself with, you know? Sorry for interrupting, but something you need to know. Hold left click when near an Exosol to ask Kibo for help. That's it. There's no trick to it or anything. Guess I just need to hold it down. Like that? Leave it to me, everyone! Alright, here he comes! <laughs> That forced Monica out of there. Girl's bathroom's been shut down. <laughs> Can't go through there. Wonder why I'd need to go there. Alright, let's go. Must be something that way. Are we going to be able to enter Rantaro's room as well? I don't know why we didn't decide to go in there. Four. What could be that way? I wonder. Oh, there's so many places I want to explore. A lot of investigating to do here. Because there's a lot of different sections that are hidden away. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, uh. Gotta climb all the way up here. Oh man, the treasure chest is broken and everything. I should start with Rontaro first. I need to investigate his lab. Just wanted to check if I could go into different labs. Makes sense that they're locked off. All the way to the top floor. Anything down here? No exosols patrolling. Let's go. Keep moving, keep moving. Level 71. Oh man. This whole place is falling to pieces. I wonder what the fourth floor looks like. Maybe we should have grabbed some of Maki's equipment from her assassin's lab. 
and this floor is a bit like wonky. Yep, no more accessing the computer lab. Monosuke! Leave it to me, everyone! See you later. Perhaps! <laughs> Alright. Let's keep moving. Jeez, it's like a, it's actual war. Can't go to Angie's lab. Alright, up we go. Oh man, what's beyond this door? I'm scared. And Monokuma? Should be easier to find these now, right? Because we're on a pretty fixed path. Nice dance. I need to learn that. Okay, I don't think I've been up here at night time. Alright, this way. Luckily, I only need one to get through these. Okay. My lab. Rontaro's lab. What could be beyond this? Rontaro's lab. If Kibo breaks down this door. Oh, this is so cool. All right there, Raiden. Jeez. He really reminds me of Raiden. From... Shuichi! Here. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> that was one hell of an entrance. I know, right? Damn, Kibo. Listen closely. I will destroy the store at once. Please stand back, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Go for it. Uh. <coughs> Please! Well then, I will leave the rest to you. If there is anywhere else you would like to access but can't, please call me. I will blast open an entrance just like I did for you now. Thanks. And just as soon as he came, Kibo left. Hmm. Anywhere I'd like access. If I can go anywhere with Kibo's help. The library. Does that mean I could get in there too? No. Rontaro's case first. I need to investigate his lab. Alright. We're almost halfway. Gulp. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Sorry, just taking it all in. It's like Monokuma, like vault there. Um, pictures, heads crossed out or painted over. I'm finally in. So this is Rontaro's lab. But what kind of room is this? It's almost frightening. Hmm. What was his talent? I thought I'd understand once I came here. Himiko, you made it. I don't know. I don't get it at all. Ah, oh, Himiko. Hey, Suichi. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down this lab's door? That's pretty drastic. No. Uh, that wasn't me. It was Kibo. I didn't couldn't find you. I was going to use your magic spell, but you were nowhere to be found. <laughs> but what even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle room. Then... So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king, and he got that title by winning game shows. Hmm. I'm not sure. We should investigate first. That's fine. Then I shall help you. <laughs> not that we're just cackling again. Be happy. The legendary mage is your sidekick. Yay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes me feel better. It does. All right, Himiko, come on, let's do this. What the hell is this place? I'm trying to discern what this could possibly be. There's a lot of, like, puzzles, riddles. There's, like, blood on these people's faces. I like to think he's, like, some sort of, like, the Zodiac killer or something, you know? Jeez. A mannequin with its head blown with a bullet. All right, let's just begin. There's a laptop here. Hmm. A laptop. Ah. This looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. You're right. There might be a clue in here. I should check. Looks like it still works. I should see what's on here. Hmm. What's the matter? It's locked, is it? Uh, um... No, it's empty. Really? What's that mean? Empty? What do you mean? No. There's no dead data in it at all. Oh my! What? Why put a laptop here if it doesn't have anything interesting on it? You're right. It seems like that's the case. I think we need to play something on it, though. Like, maybe we need to find a USB stick or something. Like Rontaro's video. But... No, but... My magic reacted to something. Did it really? There's gotta be something. Check it better! Check it better? Anyway, what was that about magic? 
must be something else here. Giant vault. There's a warning or something. There's a clue somewhere in the academy. And we've got zodiac signs, all with Monokuma designs on them. Is this a vault? But it doesn't look like a normal vault. I think... This vault door is like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. Hmm. The dial on the right is labeled A, and it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac animals on it. And the one on the left is labeled B, and it has a bunch of different astrological signs on it. Right, two different zodiacs. So it looks like if we move both of the dials to the right things, the vault will open. Um, it says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. Yeah. Was there really a hint? Was there? Thinking back to it... I don't know. I, nothing comes to mind. And we haven't found it yet. It'll be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. Except we only have until dawn, Himiko. We don't have time for this. How about that? So if there's 12 Chinese zodiac animals and 12 astrological signs, then it's just 12 by 12. So 144. Uh, um... <sighs> That's 144. Too many to try all the combinations at random. What was that? Then do you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. Hey! Wait a minute. Let me think. There's an A and a B dial. One with the Chinese zodiac, and the other with astrological symbols. And a hint somewhere in this academy. I'm sure I can solve this. A and B. Hey, Suichi. I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me when you're stuck. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be like that escape room, the killing, the, sorry, the deadly game in the funhouse, right? Where I can solve this. With my magic. That should help you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage after all. Uh, okay. Y yeah, thank you. There's no time. I have to try. I shouldn't inspect these dials. If I can't figure it out, I can ask Himiko. All right, I worked it out. I just worked it out. <laughs> uh. Wait. Hang on. It's no use. It won't open. It's not possible to do this blindly. It might be better to talk to Himiko about it. No, no need to. Hang on. Horse A and Twins B, right? Awesome. All right. So, Horse A, Gemini B. So, there's Gemini. Damn it, Kokichi. How did you figure this out? Here we go. A key. All right. Yes, it opened. Yeah. I don't know how, but it opened. But what did all of this mean? So, Kokichi just took over the message. Originally, the message was literally Horse A and Twins B. Is that all right? The hint in the academy is the message that Kokichi wrote. It was a clue for these dials. Did he write them or did he find them? If I remember correctly, the original message was written over. Remember? When Gota first saw it, it just said Horse A. Was that always there or did it only appear after the first trial though? I can't remember. Kokichi added more to it. Hmm. But that was just a diversion. Okay. Horse A was actually the complete clue. Of course. Oh my! Ooh, I see. So the A dial should be on the horse. Hmm. So the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rear guard. Remember? It said Twins B. I see. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. My star sign. Geminis are awesome. Just say. That's it! Yes. The astrological zodiac of Dal B was Gemini. Yeah. So that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared up. Why? But why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? Because he wanted to pretend to be the mastermind. That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. So he did all these things. He made that message, forced Gonta to kill, just to make himself look like an evil shit. 
He was trying to be the mastermind. Yeah. Kind of went a bit too far and ended up becoming the mask, right? Mm -hmm. Causing us problems even after he's dead. He's such a pain. I don't know if he's causing us problems. He's also helping us from beyond the grave as well. Um, let's see what's in the vault. If it was this difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. Uh, I'm getting nervous. Is it okay if I barf first? <laughs> yeah, sure, do whatever you need to. Huh? Do you feel nauseous whenever you're nervous? Okay. Looks like a key, but it might be a USB stick. I peeked into the open vault and found... Hmm. It is a USB stick. <laughs> that Monokuma pattern must mean there's something here. But how do we check inside? Hmm. I could use that thing in this lab. So those clues were made before this lab was even constructed? Hmm. Why? The timing of this all, it's all strange. Is there anything else in here besides that laptop? Nope. Alright. Let's check it out then. Okay. Looks like it still works. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be... A video. This is it. This is it, guys. I opened the video file and... Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? But who is this addressed to? <laughs> <sighs> Taken by surprise, I gasped and stopped the video without thinking. Hey! W what is this? Sorry. Th 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 that, that was Rintaro, right? I think... He probably recorded it here before he died. Impossible. This place wasn't constructed. No. That couldn't be the case. Or it was locked, right? The video was clearly recorded in Rontaro's lab. If I remember correctly... But we were only able to get inside this room just now. That is his lab, isn't it? No. It was supposed to open up after Gonta's case. But because Rontaro was already dead... It was locked. Permanently. But thanks to Kibo, we were able to get inside. But... Knowing all of that... How could Rontaro have recorded a video in this room? He's been here before. <laughs> uh, that, that might be true, but shouldn't we check the video first? Yeah, let's watch the whole thing. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with a trembling hand, I played the video. Is this really his lab? I can't tell. For all I know, he recorded this outside. I get that this is probably pretty confusing, seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. First things first, I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. It's a message for himself. The reason you don't remember recording this is because that memory was erased. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory. To the Rantaro after you lost your memory. So. Let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. Really? Sorry, I'm just gonna be silent watching this and just drinking it all in. Part of that perk is this video message. Monokuma said he was gonna make some kind of puzzle for you. But the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. Also, you can't share this with anyone. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start, yeah? Knowledge. Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Life's never easy, huh? <laughs> Well, anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. This is exactly like a game. He gets a perk at the very beginning. Like, what? You go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Yeah. Now, the important part of that rule is that... 
Oh, what? <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Ugh! Well, seriously? So he's being monitored while he's recording this video. Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not smart. Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. Yeah, I knew that was the end of that sentence. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. Ultimate survivor? That's your ultimate? The last killing game? That's why you get this perk. The survivor perk. And you get thrust into a new one, and you just keep going? Is that what's going on? But it's not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. <laughs> and never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. That's right, I forgot about that last line. He wanted this killing game. No matter what. Rontaro's video message has been added to the truth mode section of your monopad. Huh? What is this? That's his talent? He must have had a talent before that though, right? Where is he? Oh, there he is. It's still ultimate question mark. Check out the truth hold it for a second. A video file found on the USB stored in the vault in the ultimate question marks research lab. It is a message from Rontaro before he lost his memories to himself after he lost his memories. According to the message, Rontaro was the ultimate survivor and had participated in a previous killing game. This isn't the first killing game. A killing game that he wanted? What's that mean? Sh Shuichi? What did all of that mean? Who, who was Rantaro Amami? If I remember correctly, he said he survived the last killing game. And that video is part of the survivor perk. There's a lot of perks. Then he was the ultimate survivor. An expert at death games. Why? Then, why did he die so quickly? Good question. I don't want to think he just got outsmarted by Kaede. Remember. Remember what he said. Anyone who finds out who you are is going to come for you. What's that mean? The one that was coming for him? Was he talking about Kaede? No, she was just after a generic mastermind. She didn't target him specifically, just whoever was the mastermind. No. She didn't know Rontaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Hmm. Then, who is the one that knew Rontaro's true identity? Could it be... The real mastermind would have known. Then... In other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rontaro to be killed? Uh, okay. I believe so. Well... For now. But then why did the mastermind arrange to give him a perk, you know? Hmm. And he said he wanted this killing game. Why would he want that? Oh, jeez. If he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game. Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is... I don't know. There was another thing. Rantaro said his survivor perk had another part, right? We need to check his room. I'm telling you now. What was that other part? You're right. He said he had it at the start of the game. But when we found his body, his monopad, is there something on if it? I remember correctly. All he had on him was his room key and the monopad. And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. Then? It might still be left in his dorm room. Okay. Yes, it could be. I never imagined Rontaro, the first victim, would come up again like this. Of course he would. Oh jeez, uh, here we go again. Uh, uh, again? It's happening! Flashback! Oh, so many things piled on! Oh, jeez. Chapter 6, it's always a doozy! Okay, what's this one? Yo, Shuichi! I heard you're finally gonna take part in the Gopher Project! Hey guys. 
That looks like reserve course uniforms, but I don't know if uh, Makoto would have allowed that program to continue. Yeah. My classmates. <coughs> Are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? <laughs> it kind of sounds like Makoto somehow. To be honest, I wonder if that's his voice actor. You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. And that's, um... That's the prince. That's the old headmaster, like Jin Karagiri's like, voice actor, isn't it? You know I can't do that. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go to school. Yeah, that's so Bryce Pavenbrook's voice. It won't get any better if I rest anyway. I feel. I don't know. I could be wrong. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still going to be a problem for us. Why does that sound familiar as well? Hey, man! Don't look so sad! You're about to go on an adventure, right? That sounds like, um, Santa from... from 999, right? <laughs> now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. Sorry, I'm just... I should be focusing on the dialogue here. Anyway. You guys gonna do it? What are you guys talking about? Congrats, Shuichi. I heard there are some hot girls there. <laughs> yeah. I told you, don't look so sad. I don't know if I can stand it. I'd have to leave everyone behind. You have to go. I'm begging you. Huh? <laughs> oh dear, classmate number two. Shuichi, you're our pride, you know that? <coughs> Okay, so people were slowly getting infected, not everyone was dying straight away. Yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. If things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. Hard when my memories have been erased. So, don't give up. You're our hope. I'm everyone's... Hope. Oh man, what's happening? Uh. That memory. Himiko, did you have a similar one? Uh, Why did I have to remember my friends now of all times? Uh, um, this is Monokuma's doing. He made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. Right. Uh, that's right. There's no way we can give up. I promise I'd do my best for them. Uh. So there's no way I can give up. Okay? So we're looking for the other part of Rantaro's survivor perk, right? Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll check every nook and cranny of this room. With my magic, of course. Are you gonna be bonding with me here? Breathing hard. Himiko ran off. What does this all mean? What are lies? What is the truth? There we go. You've increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. These faces. Montaro. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to check out Rontaro's room. And I think Bond 2, that was towards the basement, wasn't it? Oh, jeez. There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. I need to inspect every inch. Get as many clues as I can. That's true. I should go there next. If Kibo destroys the door like last time, I should be able to get in there. Yeah, he's talking about the library. It's a Mugi. Shuichi! I finally found you. Huh? It's a Mugi. What's wrong? Um... I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor, but... What is this? Kibo's attack demolished a wall of the school and caused a new room to appear. A new room? How many new secret rooms were there? Uh, um... I suppose this game was meant to keep going until there was only two of us left, so... There should have been two more doors unlocking now, I guess? Probably Kokichi's lab. And... Maybe this new room here. Yeah. And it's a really weird room too. Anyway, come with me. Now, Tsumugi spoke almost encouragingly, then walked on ahead. Hmm. A weird room, huh? I can't ignore that. I suppose I have no choice. I'll go there later and head to the sixth floor right now. Okay, fine. We'll have to wait then. Shit. We're only we're halfway. Damn it! Running out of time. Come on. Let's head on down. Weird room, what could it possibly be? Could it be the control panel for the spaceship? Oh, I've still got Kibo's gun, I forgot about that. 
Stay away from any exit halls. This way. Down we go. Damn, man. This is so intense. And, like, the game's been drip feeding this entire time, and now. Ugh. Antaro, ultimate survivor. Not the first killing game. What does that mean? Is that his true ultimate? Ultimate survivor? Why did he want this killing game? Why did he get a perk? Did he survive a killing game? He's like, yeah, I'll just do another one. Shits and giggles, why not? I'm clearly very good at this. Oh, can't go that way. Let's go here. There's the outside of the school. Wait, what? Hang on. Yeah, that's the outside of the school. Okay, just chicken. Whoa, I'm so confused. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Four, can't go that way. What could possibly be there anyway? It's just more classroom. That's Kaede's lab, right? That way? Okay, whatever. And the original classroom that we woke up in as well, I suppose. Two. Let me just check this way first. What's this one? That's three. Okay, gotcha. So it'll be after this. Okay. Run, 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 run! Slap. Alright, gotta hit it twice. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Into the hallway. What are we gonna find? Damn it, how did this movie- Oh shit! Freaking hell. Gotcha. Leave it to me, everyone! God, it just like came tearing down the hallway. Alright. Toodaloo. Alright, the gym's locked off. Heading up to the sixth floor. Well, where's this other room, though? Can't be at the top, can it? From the outside, it didn't look like there was anything else hidden away. Ugh. Run, 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 keep running. <sighs> Wonder if we can see Kibo flying around out there. Alright, Kaito's lab. There we go. Is that some sort of pod? Like stasis pods or something? A new room. It must be that. Seems like. Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Okay. I'll try looking around. Smoogie. Um. I don't know what kind of room is on the other side of that hole, but it's definitely a weird room. All right, well, let's check it out, though. I went through the large hole in the wall and stepped into the next room. Cold sleep room. Right. Uh, um... Th this is... Hey! Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Could it be... I suppose it's possible that... Oh, uh. now? Uh, uh, Tsumugi's reacting. Uh, another! What is it? This time... <laughs> Jeez. There's something to pick up in frequency. All of us still alive. Well then, let's begin then. Wait! Hold on, I'm not mentally ready yet. Oh, jeez, I miss all of you guys. <laughs> well, robots probably don't need to mentally prep themselves the way humans do. Oh? Actually, do robots even need to be put in cold sleep? That's robophobic. I'm still a teenager, just like you all. I would feel lonely if I were the only one still awake. Fair enough, but can't you just shut down or something? Like I thought. But is it really okay? This will be my first time in cold sleep, so I'm just plain nervous. <laughs> it's the same for all of us. <laughs> but you know, it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. You. What a careless guy. <laughs> oh. Fucking moron! <laughs> Fucking idiot is more like it. What? Hey, who are you calling an idiot? Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, break it up. We gotta be friends here. So don't start fighting with each other, even Kaede. Oh? Friends, you say? Oh, no, no, not friends. Don't say the F word in front of them. Yeah, that's right. We're friends from here on out. Uh... Even though you just met us and you don't even know what, it's, what we're like? Wait, what? Because... Well, the 16 of us are going to be here together from now on. You just met them? 
I thought we were all part of Hope's Peak. Why are we just suddenly meeting now? Yeah. It might be hard, but let's try to take it one step at a time. We might fight at first, but we shouldn't forget about believing in each other. Yeah, that's right. We all went through such a difficult time, so I think we can all become good friends. Right? What do you say? Mm. Going to agree. Going to want to be friends with everyone. That is correct. After we wake up from cold sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. That's right. So we all better get going. Did you know at this point? <laughs> we are already friends. Even Adua says we're friends. <sighs> that sounds like a pain. But okay, I guess. I mean, I guess we were all in different classes and everything, but... Hmm. Hey. What about you? Huh? Me. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I see. I'm glad. Ha! No matter how many times we fight, we smile in the end. That's what true friendship is. It'd be cool if we could be like that. All 16 of us. That's right! Yes, I agree. As long as we leave the degenerate males out. <laughs> um, I think us guys should be included too. All right! Then, let's do it. It'll probably be a couple of years before we all see each other again. But let's all work together and do our best. That's right. Yes, because we are humanity's last hope. All right! Then let's all get some shut-eye. I'll see you guys later. But see, we were all ultimates. We're dressed in our ultimate gear. If we go into cold sleep and everything, why did we suddenly become normal high school students again? You know? We lost our clothes and everything. Ah! <sighs> Ah! Oh. I remember now. This room is... It, it can't be! This was the room where we went into cold sleep. Then... Tsumuki, you remember too. Did everyone remember just now? Okay. This is the room where we were put into cold sleep for the Gopher Project. It's where the 16 of us first met. Right, so yeah, we were all... We all went to the same high school, but we didn't meet each other until just here. But... But back then, we all said we'd work together. We promised we'd become friends. We always do. <laughs> and now we're killing each other. Why did it have to end up like this? That's... This is Monokuma's fault. Monokuma and the true mastermind controlling him. Um... That real mastermind is... Hiding in this academy is making us all do all of this, right? Right? Hey, Shuichi, let's find them no matter what and end the killing game for good. Um... And then, let's finally fulfill that promise we all made. There's a lot of us missing now, but it's not too late. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Documents. Is this the full declassified file? There's some documents left on the table. Huh? The Gopher Project participants list. Looks like there's more than 16 there. Um... Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. I found it when I was here earlier. Uh, um... Anything of particular note? Um... All our profiles are written here. Most of it is stuff we already know, but that's not the important part. <gasps> it's about Kaede. What about her now? Huh? What? What about Kaede? Seems like... She has a twin. What? Huh? A twin? Yeah! It seems like she has a younger twin sister. That's always strange when they say younger twin, right? It said her sister was adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but... Uh... I'm still a little worried, because... Junko Inoshima also had a twin sister. Uh, okay. Uh, true, but... That reminds me! On top of that... Shunko used her twin sister to run her killing game from behind the scenes. Oh, shit. Are you saying that Kaede was executed? Because she was a twin, and the real Kaede Akamatsu's running things from behind the scenes? Oh. I mean, it's probably just a coincidence, but I thought I should mention it to you, Shuichi. Why is this only coming up now? <sighs> a twin? Kaede had a twin. What does that mean? Thank you. Y yes. Thank you. This is the first time I'm hearing that Kaede has a twin. But is that relevant? It doesn't really matter. Does it? 
Go for project participant list has been added. Kaede had a twin? What? Seems like... It seems like their battle has gotten more intense. I wonder if we're gonna be okay. It seems like the building is going to break soon. If I remember correctly... Kibo said he'd give us until dawn. But... but... But there's a chance that Monokuma will defeat Kibo before that, right? Yeah, no time to lose. Okay. Either way, we should hurry. What should we do? What are we gonna do now? I'm... There's a place we should investigate. I found it right after the killing game started, but it's been closed this whole time. Could it be? You mean... Okay. Yes. The hidden room in the back of the library. With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Certainly. Oh, you're right. I'll go with you. All right, let's go. You've increased your bond. Come on, Samui. Kaede had a twin. Um... That reminds me. Do you know where Himaki and Himiko are? I was looking for them to tell them about this place, but I couldn't find them. If I remember correctly... Maki is in Kokichi's room at the dorms. Why? Kokichi's dorm room? Why is she there? That's... She's looking through all of Kokichi's stuff for any clues he might have left behind. And then Himiko is headed toward Rontaro's room. She's trying to find any clues that Rontaro might have left behind. Tsumugi must have just missed Himiko on the way here. I see. Oh, so you were both at the dorms? Yeah. Well, as long as they're still fine, it's okay. Since Kibo and Monokuma are running wild, I was just plain worried Himiko and Maki would get caught up in the destruction. Yeah. I'm worried for them too, but... We gotta handle our own business here and trust that they can handle it themselves. Kaede's twin. Alright, come on. Tamuki, are you coming with me? Might as well, right? Or you can hang out with the dorms with the other girls. I can handle the library with Kibo. Come on! Kaede's twin, Kaede's twin, Kaede's twin. What does that mean? What does that mean? Just like how Junko and Mukuro were twins. Remember at the very beginning when Kaede said she was the protagonist of this crazy story? Could she be the mastermind? This whole time, she was trying to kill the mastermind, but instead it was her twin all along. Urgh. She was the most adamant out of all of us to try and end this game. Oh shit! Let's do this! That scared the shit out of me for a second. Oh yeah? Dance with me. Poor Kibo. Leave it to me, everyone! Here he comes! Gah. Jeez. That wasn't even as scary as Resident Evil 2, but yet it still freaked me out. Okay. Two. Three. Classroom where it all began. I should head to the library. With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Alright. I could check Rontaro's room, but I think uh, we won't be able to go there anyway. So I'm going to trust Himiko to try and find something there. Okay, that door to the library's gone. Oh no, the library's there. This door to the library's gone. Here's the game's room. I should head to the library. Alright. Honestly, I haven't spent as much time in this library since the very first case. Still in one piece, more or less. The books are still piled up, what? I thought they were rearranged back to normal. Maki! Maki, you're here! <laughs> I knew you'd come here. If you're reinvestigating old areas, you have to come here eventually. Hey! But before you do, listen to what I have to say. Okay. Is this about the blueprints? Have you looked through all of them? Okay. Yeah, I have. But something caught my eye that worried me. <sighs> Although, I'm not sure how significant it is. Alright, hang on. Can you speak to Tamugi for a second? It's fine. It still seems safe here. Um... It's underground, so it won't be destroyed that easily, right? But I'm worried that if the building collapses, it's going to cause an avalanche of books. Dying from being buried in books? That wouldn't be a bad way to die. Uh, let's not think about dying. Though, I don't want it to happen now. Yeah, exactly. Think about it later. But yeah, these books. Weren't they scattered again after everything was said and done? Okay. Hang on. There's so many things to investigate. I don't have time to be distracted by this. I was just gonna check out that was where Montaro originally died, right? Um... Hey, Maki. What was in all those blueprints you were looking for? Okay. I found the design that worried me a little. It was drawn with too much detail. Uh, um... It looks like... a vacuum. What a peculiar shape. Weirdo. It's a machine that sucks up bugs called the bug vac. Oh, dear. Huh? A bug vac? Is that why there were no bugs here? Uh... Kokichi came up with the design? But I thought there weren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. No. Now that you mention it. Oh, that because of tiny bugs. 
Didn't he say he could see some now and then, but he wasn't sure? Bugs. I thought vermin were nowhere to be found in this academy. Yeah, go to think that before, but... When out walking in courtyard, go to think he see tiny bug. But... Bug so tiny, even Gota no could see it. And Gota have 20 0 0.625 eyesight. So maybe Gonta just make mistake. But Gonta think... No, maybe Gonta just see things. Remember, Gonta was always seeing small bugs. Put emphasis on the wrong word. But... But Gonta said he was just seeing things. Oh yeah. Maybe Kokichi asked Mew to invent that to see for himself. Huh? So Mew actually made this? Jeez, he was working together with Mew quite a lot. So he was trying to suck up these tiny bugs maybe to see if he could find anything. Okay. After I found this design, I went to Mew's research lab. Well... And I found a prototype she was still working on. I don't think I ever got in here to see the way it looks normally, right? There's a chainsaw and everything in here. Hey. This is it. It might be- it may be a prototype, but it seems to be functional already. The suction function is already finished. As she said that, Maki flipped the switch on the machine and- <sighs> It has a pretty strong suction. With this, you can vacuum up all the bugs around you at once. But... Nothing in it. Weirdo. Yeah. It looks like it was used several times, but it doesn't seem like they caught any. Maki sighed and turned off the bug catcher. I see. Then does it mean there's no bugs? It was just Gonta's imagination after all. Okay. That's probably the case. Well, even if there were bugs, I don't know how that would be a clue. Sure, whatever. But I wanted to tell you, especially since I spent a lot of time investigating it. Fair enough. The fruits of your labor, huh? Uh, okay. Right. Thank you. Were those bugs really just Gonta's imagination? There must be more to it than that. Bug vac has been added. Ah. You guys were here? Hey, Himiko. I'm surprised we're all ah. able to find each other. If we're all gonna meet up, why didn't anyone tell me? Ah. I couldn't find anyone, so I was starting to get worried. I'm sorry, Himiko. We're here. We're here. Uh, um... Uh, sorry. Hey. And where were you up till now? Hey! You went to Rontaro's room, right? Did you find anything interesting? Yes? What is this expression? <laughs> Maki, you did a good job. Well done. So what? There wasn't anything else besides the bug vac machine. It was just a bunch of junk. This is stupid. There were drawings of weapons and huge robots that kids would fantasize about. Some of the other drawing designs were machines of, for pulling pranks on people. <laughs> well, he was a dreamer. All right, Himiko, head us up. Um. Hey, Himiko, did you find anything in Rontaro's room? Shut up! I'm not gonna tell you. Stop asking me. Shut up. Leave me alone. We might need this to get into that room. Huh? Or we'll get keep it to blow it up. Huh? Why? <laughs> if I say I didn't find anything, you're gonna decide I'm useless, aren't you? No? It's fine if you didn't find anything, I'm just asking. I won't let that happen. <sighs> so, I guess she didn't find anything. Oh, she was bluffing. It's okay. Don't worry. I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. Okay, well, there was no need to say it like that. What did you say? Uh, that's just as bad! If it isn't in Rontaro's room, then where is his survivor perk? We didn't find anything on his body. Did he hide it somewhere before he died? I have a feeling it's beyond this door. Somehow, he had the car key to get in there. It must be to do with his monopad, right? Something. But hiding it in your room would be the safest place for it. There must be some sort of secret function. You don't need to use a card key to open that door. Maybe you just tap a button on your monopad. Did someone take it? What's wrong? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're right! Hey, we're going to check what's behind the hidden door, right? Let's hurry and do it. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Who took it? Kaede, when she was investigating? The hidden doors where Rantaro was investigating just before he died. There might be something in there that would be a valuable clue. First, I should inspect the hidden door. The hidden door is revealed when the bookcase swings open. This door has been locked this entire time. Here we go. A door we found in Chapter 1. With Kibo's help, we might be able to open it. Um... The door can only be opened with a card key. There must be something here. <laughs> Maybe the Mastermind is hiding behind this hidden door. What about the card key that Kokichi had? Where does that open? Wouldn't it open this? Like... 
He, he said it wasn't for this door specifically, but he was a liar. So where else would you use it to get the secret of the outside world? That's true. Then, if we kill them, we can end this killing game. I don't think it'll be that easy. No. I told you, we can't kill them. If you do that, we'd be the same... <coughs> to me? Huh? What's wrong? Oh, shit. Found you! Uh... You people. guys have been doing whatever you feel like, huh? <laughs> you can't just go anywhere you want without permission. Father will get mad. I'd like to present my truth bullet, the monocub, uh, the monopad, which has the rules stating we can explore this place. I don't like it when Father gets mad. So before he finds out about this, I'm gonna destroy you all. Uh oh. But then your killing game's kind of ended, hasn't it? If we're all dead. Damn it! Everyone, run! Ugh, we'll have to wait. Kibo! Oh. Ah, I can't move! Nice! Just stay put, for now. So much for the frailty of a human being. Damn, Kibo. Oh. Kibo, you saved us! As a reward, I'll use my magic to turn you into a real boy. I see. <laughs> so you need me to open that door, right? Uh, okay. Y yes, please. Hey! Are you ignoring me? Well, I guess there's nothing I can do since I need to charge Listen my- Listen closely. Please stand back. It's dangerous to be too close. Go for it, buddy. After that terse comment, Kibo aimed his rocket launcher at the door. <laughs> the hidden door is completely destroyed. Wait, what? It's a fake? Yes. The door is open. We can finally enter. Oh, never mind. It just means the door was destroyed. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah. The, the mastermind's hiding in there. No doubt about what? it. Is it okay to just go in there? What if we get attacked or something? It's okay. Then we'll just have to strike back. Alright, Maki's with us. She'll protect us. I... I would join you, but I need to hold off the exosols here. Well then... Shuichi, it's all up to you. Please catch the mastermind, no matter what. Uh, okay. Got it. Here we go. The mastermind is in here. That certainly is possible. We should be careful. I wonder if that's why Kaede's lab is like unlocked. I mean, blocked off behind that fourth bond level, right? Because we're not. not we don't know about her twin. Well, it's time to head into this hidden room. Dawn has almost hit us.